Maybe something else is. What if I just removed two cards outright rather than filling the deck with garbage? That might be nice. Yeah, at least we made it to the boss, so we get another another try. Though I can't say I'm impressed overall, we have to get past Slime Boss again, too. Icky. Icky, icky. Let's dunk one and one here. Hmm. I'll try it. Hey. Having fewer cards in the deck means we can reshuffle the deck more frequently, draw back through our discarded cards more often. Means if we upgrade a card, we'll see that upgraded card more frequently compared to a deck with more cards in it. Dash is a pretty good start here. And the face trader is here. Good face or bad face? What will it be? Bad face. The next non-boss chest we open is empty. Hmm. Not ideal. Have they ever changed up the characters' starting decks? I think dual cast was too cost at one point. They've made a couple tweaks to starting cards, but I don't think they've ever changed the cards in the starting deck. We have had all faces for the face mastery, yeah. We have. So we've had we've had an in-loss hungry face run that won. I'm taking a deflect here. Actually, no, I'll take a back flip. I love card draw. Is that enough to go for Burning Elite? No way, right? No way. We go this way. Do I have something in mind to reduce the impact of these mastery challenge runs to my win rate data? I do not give two hoots about my win rate data. How many of my past runs I've won or lost has no bearing on whether I will win or lose the current run. It's fluff scorekeeping, but it means nothing at all. Seek it a tangent with 50 months of support. The 5 0. Oh, since when do numbers get that high? Ridiculous. And for fistfuls of cheese, ads be gone. Thanks for 20 months in the Prime sub. But do you give one hoot? I might give one hoot. One singular hoot. I want this leg sweep, but I have to take dagger throw. Acro also way too greedy there. I intend to intentionally lose a whole bunch of runs in a row to completely destroy my win rate data. Then I can improve upon my win rate in future runs, demonstrating uh, character development and earning a raise. I think that's how that works. Yes, I will earn a raise. Uh-oh. My damage. This is... Fine? This is fine. Slowly but surely. This is how a life is taken. Pretty smooth, actually. Well-laid plans are back. Okay, this is a really solid foundation to a deck. We've got dash, backflip, dagger throw, and retain, as well as a potion that can get us through the first elite pretty easily. Not the world's worst sneaky strike, actually, but uh, plans are way better here. 
plans are definitely a lot better. I think both Neutralize and Dash are a good first upgrade here. Let's do Dash. I often find the Neutralize upgrade is obviated. If you get a Crippling Cloud or a Malaise or a Leg Sweep. Kaka. Just want to wait two turns for two points of strength here. Um, keep the dagger throw, I guess. Car car is the law. Not so worried about the strength debuff that you normally would be in this fight, because we have the Cultist Potion giving us strength every turn here. So there is no problem. Toxic Egg is back, ha! Huh. Lose one first Relic Toxic Egg run, just get another one. Easy, and Burst is back too. All right, welcome back to the, the Fold Burst. I allow you to return. Cool. It's like it never happened at all. Here we go again. Easy. Easy peasy. Good. Get mad money back. Upgraded skills. Okay, now Lake Sweep looks really good. Although the outmaneuver is not bad either. I think Lake Sweep is extra premium here. Uh, this elite could be a real problem though with no potions, huh? Hmm. Lake Sweep makes the heal hooks better. Hey. My relic. I wonder if that needed to be a dagger throw upgrade. Oh good, it's not Gremlin Nub. Okay. That makes life easier. And just full block with leg sweep survivor, I guess. I'm not gonna do that though. Do I always pick up unmastered cards now? Uh, pretty much always, yeah. We're we're being pretty greedy about them. Hmm. I'm being a bit greedy about this fight, though. With well-laid plans, it's it's fine to take it slow, I guess. I guess. Easy. Hmm. I should have killed you, actually. Not sure I made the right choice. All well. Really smooth sentries fight overall.
almost too good. <laughs> 14 turns and counting. At last, we get a kunai, because the deck was going too quickly through combats. We also still don't get a potion, and we get a footwork or a prepared plus. Uh, I'll take the prepared. How do you know the turn count? Very briefly, at the beginning of each turn, the turn count will flash in the middle of the screen. It's only there for a very brief amount of time, so it's quite easy to miss. But, uh... It does appear each turn in the middle. We are very lucky to find a merchant here. Although the merchant doesn't have that much that's good. Could take Shuriken to go with Kunai. That's kind of hype. Or I could buy a real card. Or a potion. No, we gotta do it, right? Shuriken, Kunai together. Slime boss is free. No one's ever, ever lost a slime boss. Certainly not on silent. Easy. Never happened. Excuse you. He's a busy. Good fight. Blade dance. Got it in one. All right, we're fine. Let's upgrade the dagger throw then. All you gotta do is ask. It is that easy. It is that easy. Uh, we could Liquid Memories the Blade Dance right now. I don't feel the need to. Use these two. Hmm. That's a problem. Split. 
don't think I'm going to use the liquid memories. Feels like we don't need it. Four strength, four dex. We're fine here. Oh, yeah. More than fine. GG. Kunai Shuriken Toxic Egg gets going. Do we get a Storm of Steel? We get a Malaise with a plus on it, or a Wraithformer Glass Knife. Glass Knife's not too bad with Shuriken, but I think Malaise here is quite fantastic, especially with Burst and Well-Aid plans. Sure, let's do a Malaise here. And... Pandora's Box. Transform all Strike and Defend cards. Any skills are upgraded. Or, Wrist Blade. Zero cost attack, steal four more damage. Make the blade dance that much stronger. I guess Fusion Hammer is pretty good as well. We get more energy, but we can't upgrade anymore. All the skills being upgraded means that's not too big a deal. Yeah, all three, please. Given that we have the, the Kunai Shuriken, the Wrist Blade does feel like a, uh, a no-brainer follow-up. Let's do it. Let's take the wrist blade. I like that a lot. That does mean... Actually, we're poor, huh? Hmm. No shops for us. This shop. Any upgrades that are really important? Not at the moment. Combats are important. We need card rewards. We need to find another blade dance or a cloak and dagger or something. Or we are not going to have what we need here. Not at all. We're not that strong for the moment. Good. Eight shivs. Your pot kills and saves eight health. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, that was worth it. Ha ha ha. Got it in one. All right. Second blade dance plus. Now we're, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Perfect timing again, too. Easy. Now I want piercing whales, too. And you too. Good turn. Ten damage. Amazing. Acrobatics plus. I don't have that much energy, but yes. Definitely yes. Where's a uh, reflex or tactician when you need it? I guess we keep taking fights, although I'm a little worried about some of these fights. Maybe not. Memories to save 11. Liquid Memories is worth a lot. We can rest at the fire. We can rest at the fire.
One more. With three energy, we really can't use two acrobatics plus all that well, but we can we can get some stuff done. Can definitely get some stuff done. Twelve. First blade dance. Can't do both though. Really want to make a million shivs here. It's fine though. Crippling cloud plus is okay. Endless agony looks really good with with the uh, wrist blade shuriken kunai. We can draw into this. It duplicates itself to be two eight damage attacks, and it's free. I love it. Totally love it. I think we're still on track to make these elites completely reasonable. Let's take one more fight. The snake plant. Uh oh, snake plant. The malleable is too strong, though. Plant barely takes any damage there. It's not good. Guess we also barely take any damage. Well, and then this happens. Do that. There's the piercing whale I asked for. Good. Only thing we're missing is a bit more energy somehow. And there's ways around that, too. For example, this would be the time for the Liquid Memories. Actually, we don't even need it. Wow. Uh, amazing. Do we dash or do we Piercing Whale defend? We just Piercing Whale defend here. Throw a to stitch two separated VODs together. Ah, uh, not an easy way. You'd have to, like, load them both in video editing software and then edit them together and then save them as a new video. More trouble than it's worth, basically. That Prismatic Shard ended a heart win. It sure did, plus the mastery of Swift Strike. What a good Slaver's fight. Really wasn't expecting this to go so well without uh, the potion used, but here we are. No damage taken. We get Omomori to block Curses. We get a Calculated Gamble, or we get an Accuracy. I, for one, am taking Calc Gamble here. Discard your hand, then draw that many cards again. Yes, please. And we can upgrade, I guess, Backflip? We don't have very many good upgrades, as you can see. It's just the starter deck. It's fine. Bag of preparation. Two more cards on turn one. You know what? Let's go for the Burning Elite. Especially knowing this can't be Super Slavers. It's either Super Book of Stabbing or Super Gremlin Leader. Both of which I feel okay against with this potion. <laughs> Inloth Hungry. Feed Inloth. Can lose one of our relics here. Why don't you eat your own face, sir? This would have been, would have been a perfect opportunity. 
for you to eat your own face. But no, you decided Toxic Egg Bag of Prep. That's going to be a hard no from me. Come on, man. Okay. Just a metallicized book of stabbing. Not anything I would consider normally threatening. Let's keep Blade Dance Gamble. Excuse you. Keep Leg Sweep Gamble. Pick one. One is fine. One is none. Easy fight. Really easy fight. Good. Molten egg. Excellent. Now, two out of three card types are upgraded when we see them. Including this Die 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 Plus, which slaps like a truck. I like that card. Good for dealing with Collector. Good for dealing with Reptomancer. And what do we got here? Wool Wizard 69. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Appreciate ya. Dolly's Mirror. Transmutation. I cannot afford both of them, though. No. We have no unmastered cards. No. Maybe I just take this. Take this. Seems fine. Slice is nice. It's okay. I would like another elite, please. Gremlin leader. Okay, we get to fight each one one time. I like it. Whoops. Seems vaguely fine. Make it so. Hmm, permanent one cost, leg sweep dash, and apotheosis upgrades all of the strikes and defends, I guess. That's okay. Hardly amazing, but certainly adequate. This will deal 21 to all. Good. Cunning Potion's very powerful. Deflect Plus with the Kunai is very good. Wraith Form, not as good because of our low energy per turn. But zero cost cards that block, love it. Take the Cunning Potion. And upgrade, I guess, you know what? Survivor. Upgrade Survivor. The whole deck says plus now, pretty much. And I like it that way. Hmm. hmm. Keep deflect, die, 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 I guess. Nice turn. Excellent. We can kill both minions here. Nice try. Hmm. 
Burst Transmutation. Burst Bomb. A hundred damage. Come on, resummon. Right now. Dang it. How about some Dark Shackles? Go from 27 down to 10. Easy. Burst Metamorphosis. Burst Secret Technique. Wait, I can't get attacks with this. Cool. This is fine. You tell him, heel hook. All right. Kaboom! Nine damage times six skills. The power. GG. Perfect collector fight with this deck. Unload is not mastered. There's also second malaise or nightmare, both of which are very good. Who needs very good cards, though, when you can have unmastered cards? The mastery challenge does say we need to take the unmastered cards, and so I'm going to click on the unload here. I think we're strong enough that we can afford it, after all. It's not that bad as well, especially if we can find some discard synergy stuff. We definitely want to take an energy relic here. I don't think Astrolabe is a good idea at all. This deck is really struggling on three energy. Four would go a long, long, long way for us. So we should probably take the Philosopher's Stone. Busted Crown makes it very hard to find unmastered cards or really hard to take advantage of our egg relics in general. The Philosopher's Stone makes enemies stronger, but with a malaise in the deck, I'm not afraid of making enemies stronger because we can always just make them weaker with our energy. So I think Philosopher's Stone, when you've got malaise, is great. No good reason not to take it, essentially. How many shops do I want? Not that many, although 999 gold is a thing. Let's go early events because of Omomori here. If we can get rich, that'd be great. That would be great. Yeah. Double Cutting Potion. I like it. Cloak and Dagger. Yes. Don't need a third acro here. We want the cloaks. We want to fall and lose a strike. Hell yeah. Three strike remove. Event number two. I am rich. Gain 999 gold. Become cursed with two normality. You'll love to see it. Yes, I am. Can it really be this easy? Money, money. And a glowing tesseract with toxic egg. Hold on, Twitch chat. This might be the moment. Will it finally happen? Thinking ahead? Finesse, Flash of Steel, both very good. Finesse. All right, well, let's go Finesse, Flash of Steel, Thinking Ahead, I guess. So now we can take any of these. Triumph. Flash of Steel does 10 damage, by the way. It's kind of cool.
Nah. Nah. Worried about Time Eater or is the deck degenerate enough? Burst Malaise should deal with Time Eater. Honestly, both Kunai and Shuriken usually can outscale the Time Eater as well. If you just keep playing enough attacks, you'll you'll stay ahead. Um rest sites don't seem that good. Rest sites are not that good. Let's go this way rather than this way. We do want to head to one of these two shops. That's required. We are too rich to not go shopping. Yeah, exactly. First couple turns are usually the only real threat with a deck like this. And if you can burst malaise, well, there may not be any threat at all. Please put well-aid plans on top. Thank you. 28. Excuse you. No one said you could do that. Hmm. This is probably worth it. Old coin. Now we have 1,500 gold. And a footwork. Actually, that sneaky strike is kind of good. This is pretty okay. Don't think I need it, though. Let's not take the footwork either, actually. Skip it all. Not enough money. Hello there. Violence. Behold the violence inherent in the system. Maneuver. Finally a way to gain energy. Get in here. It's a bit clunky, but it will certainly do. This would upgrade two defense. <laughs> Take the sapphire key. Alright, shop number one with 1,000... Actually, no, we're going to go this way, right? Yeah, not quite yet. Writhing mass first. Forever. Now, we'd prefer not to get cursed here, but we may not get a choice. Should have 
thinking ahead of it. There, oh well. Looks pretty good. Grand finale! You can do that, that's fine. I can actually play finale, so let's hold on to that. Grand finale! Tolerable. And they said unload was useless. Ha! Who's laughing now? It's me. I'm laughing. I think with two acro pluses, we'd prefer a deflect plus to a backflip plus. I'm going to go back on what we did earlier, and I'm actually going to keep the liquid memories here. There it is. Oh my goodness, we got thinking ahead and unload Twitch chat. Oh my goodness. The power. Now we have to win. Those are two very hard to get cards, so I'm really happy with this. Do I take... I'm going to take Blur for sure. One more Deflect is good. One more card remove is good. Toolbox looks okay. White Bee Statue looks okay. I mean, we're filthy rich, so I might as well buy it all, right? <laughs> buy it all. I don't think I need the Eviscerate, though. I could take the Hourglass, but I think the Hourglass won't do enough in the final battles. We still need the uh, transmutation, after all. Wraith form, unfortunately, not getting acknowledged here. Again, too expensive and kind of redundant in a deck that has a kunai, usually. Madness plus. Hmm. This deck would like madnesses. Yes, it would, actually. Let's try this. Although I fear we might have uh, not enough card draw for two Madnesses. We'll see. We shall see. strong. Is it though?
Heel hook is here. No thanks. I'll take a uh, escape plan. Nice try, heel hook. Not today. Take my unload and my thinking ahead. And be happy with that. Yeah, deck's already bad enough as it is. That's right. Don't need to get too crazy here. You know? like this part. Sixteen. Okay. That's not too bad. Classic unload there. Getting rid of all the stuff I wanted to retain, though. It's not great. Good fight. Bottled Tornado. We can bottle our well-laid plans. That's huge. I think that's our only power, too. One more backflip for the road. Yes, our only power. Would Barricade be better on the Silent? Barricade on Silent would be pretty powerful. Pretty cool that all we have... Essentially no good upgrade, so we get to rest with essentially no consequence. It's kind of cool. Oh, I should have put that back on top so I could reduplicate it. Smart. Very smart. Unload is free. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's just keep the unload. Let's do Deflect Piercing Whale. Acro is great. There we go. Although this turn is questionable. Go. Yeah, I can only burst one skill, huh? Hmm. Guess we'll do this. Bit of an ouch. That's fine. Riddle with Holes gets the bonus from Wristblade. It does eight times five. It's the power. My Riddle with Holes, no.
Uh-oh. Unload is so bad. <laughs> like, do I want to discard all these days to my retaining cards? No, I don't. No, I really don't. I'd love to do 14 by 7, though. Or 14 by 5. Who's next? Awakened One would definitely be easier than Time Eater. And that is who we get, Awakened One. Easily defeated by the Kunai. Easily beaten by the Kunai. All we have to do is keep scaling our defense and everything will be A-OK. -okay. No problem at all. Strike does more damage the power. <laughs> does Wristblade keep stats? Unfortunately, it does not. So we're not allowed to see how much uh, bonus it has given. It is forbidden knowledge. Oh yeah, we also have Malaise for this fight. Makes life quite a bit quite a bit easier. Probably try to do that with the help of the outmaneuver. Do the do with 39 months. Got your dead desk pad last week. Heck yeah. That fiendish forest desk pad looks freaking spectacular. Really glad we uh, got them made. Freaking spectacular, I tell you. All right. All right. This looks pretty easy. Dance, blade dance. And Zertva, thanks for the half year and the good luck wishes. I'm I'm really hoping this one prevails. We've got some premium cards here. in this. Will we try to use Shackles into the Transform? Since Awakened One's already at zero strength, there's no improvement we can do on that. The Whale Trick can only bring the boss back down to zero strength. Not into the, ne not into the negatives. So zero is as low as you can go. Be 
Begin nonsense. Hand of greed. Hell yeah. Ka-ching. Thanks for the money, nerd. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of us unloading all of our cards? You prepare your daggers and deal 2364. Cool. Does Skewer plus Chemex at no energy still trigger Necro? No, nor Wrist Blade. X is never zero, effectively. Take five health. Violence still unmastered. Third unload is here. Shame about the violence. Pretty happy with the two unmastered cards that we do have. What will we pick up for this final battle here? I'm thinking Cloak and Dagger. I'm thinking Flash of Steel. I'm thinking uh, Lantern, maybe. We don't need this unload. Indeed, we already have two copies of unload, two copies of Thinking Ahead. So all we have to do is win. We'll start with Cloak and Dagger, Flash of Steel, Lantern. Do we think Caltrops is unnecessary for the heart? I think the Shuriken will be plenty of damage. Let's go Strike Removal. How do we feel about weakness? We have Leg Sweep and Malaise. We don't need more weak. Violence is okay. Could maybe swap a potion out. I like the current potions, though. Use the Shiv potion on the Spire Elites, and then get a new one from White Bee Statue. Let's go Violence. It's a one-time card draw of some cards. Ooh, Panache. I like Panache. Every time we play five cards in one turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. And I'm going to go for the shield first here, given it has much lower total health. Let's just use this. Pretty good. It's good enough. Excellent fight. Of course, we get a pantograph, classic. And grand fun. We don't need that. Give me a cloak and dagger. Panache number two. Let's do it. That feel when no grand finale. It's real. Blur seems really good turn one. Maybe do dash, cloak and dagger, some other stuff. I like it. Retain 21 block, keep what? Gamble flip or gamble acro? Gamble flip, I need that block. First cycle of the heart can definitely be tough, especially with plus one strength here. Note it's 69 damage. And then four by 15 next turn. Nice. 
Nice attack, nerd. <laughs> really would like to make you weak. That's a good way to weak you weak. Leg sweep. Leg sweep. Take 11? That's pretty good. Could do something like Liquid Memories, try to full block. Don't need to, though. Definitely don't need to. Let's lose the transmutation. Keep Whale Gamble for now. Dabuck, how did the silence stop the heart? She sent it into cardiac arrest. Uh, let's do this. Free unload all the time. Keep Gamble Cloak, I guess. No refunds, Twitch chat. Even if they're bad. Especially if they're bad. Violence, gamble. No. Of course. Why am I even surprised? Uh, all right, let's do this. Um, got burst. Okay, I have a plan here. Um. That's a big number. Fortunately, I have a solution. Burst malaise? Ah, that actually would work, right? But what if I did this instead? Yoink. And burst this, actually. And whoop. All right. That's a bit better. Perfect. Shackles. I like it. Let's take more draw for next turn. Looks like we're in the clear, Twitch chat. Yeah, two absolutely huge masteries this run. Very, very well done. Simply marvelous.
Get in there, unload. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.